Hey dudes, I uh, just bought some um, guitar polish. I was looking for some and I looked around a little bit, wasn't really sure what I wanted. Um, Gurlitz came up as a product that I'd never heard of to be honest, but seems to get fair reviews. So I thought, why not? There's a guy up north uh, that imports it into the UK. I think he's the only guy in the UK that imports it. But um, I know Lee, or Stead, from the MLF has used him. He's bought a guitar from him and he said he's, he's a nice guy, so... Thought I'd give it a whirl. Okay, I don't know how well you can see with the reflection. It's a pain in the ass trying to get this finish in the right light. But, um... Here, you can see the all the sweat in the in the crap. It's come off of my forearm. The trim, a little bit tarnished. The pickups are probably one of the worst parts. They're really greasy and horrible and mucky. Bridge isn't so bad. Still a little bit. It's um, it's just sort of permanently tarnishing here. There's in between the E and the A string. There's a little bit of dulling of the of the metal. In either side of the frets, most of the way along the board, there you go, you can see on that one there's some little uh, darker marks just under the fret. Same on that one. So nothing serious but it needs a clean and hopefully by the time I finish the sun won't be quite so intense and we'll be able to get some better pictures. Um, it's quite greasy around the knobs and you don't like greasy well I don't know sometimes a greasy knob's quite nice I don't know that's up to you whether you like a greasy knob or not what I ordered was the Gurlitz um, it's called the works and you get three different products and two polishing cloths so this one is a Carnuba wax and inside it you get a little applicator sponge on the top just a, just a regular sponge and it's just like beeswax from my from my car polishing experience so I know, I know that this kind of wax will just yeah I can feel it starting to liquefy just in my body temperature so that's that's basically for sealing the guitar once you've cleaned it up you uh, give it a coat of that and it seals it and protects it and helps stop more sweat penetrating the beautiful finish on the guitar what else do you get? You get smudge off. This one's the equivalent of any um, guitar cleaner like the Dunlop 65 or something like that. It's supposed to be really effective at getting those greasy marks off. And then this one which I'm quite intrigued by. I'm quite looking forward to seeing the results of. It's uh, the Guitar Honey which is the lemon oil equivalent that Gurlitz do. I've seen a couple of people say they don't like the way this leaves a finish on the on the fingerboard. Personally, I think they're doing it wrong. It's a nice colour. Very nice colour. And uh, yeah, it's not supposed to contain any lemon oil. It's a bit of a secret blend of many minerals from all different parts of Jupiter. Yeah, we'll see how that how that works. You also get this, which this is really, really impressive. I opened it up and I was like, couldn't even talk. It was, it was so soft. It is really, really soft microfiber. And then you get a chamois, which is just a nice soft chamois, synthetic. This one people say to use just as a kind of in-between string changes wipe with no product. Literally just use this cloth to wipe the guitar down. And it apparently takes off all the dirt and grime quite efficiently all on its own. Let me just show you the PRS uh, locking tuners because I think they're really cool. If you can see where the way I've slackened the strings off is so that the holes are all um, parallel with the way the strings lie and then you see the screw head on the top that's literally just a little screw head which unturns see that? I'll take it all the way out so you can see and then the string just pulls out and then the top of the hole is just an empty barrel. Basically this screws in, the string goes through, and this screws down and pinches the string underneath. It's really, really simple, but it works really well. So I'm going to take my new cloth, which is right here, 
I'm going to take some smudge off. Shake, spray and wipe. Shake well before and occasionally during use. Mist spray lightly onto surface and spread evenly over misted area in a circular overlapping motion. Let's shake. Okay, there we go, we've, we've shaken. I've, I've, well, I've misted. Now I've misted. Okay, that's enough misting for me. Smells really nice. Wow. You can feel it as well. Once, when you first start rubbing, it feels all gritty and horrible under your fingers, where, the, where there's like um, a little gunk in the way. But now it feels really, really, really smooth to rub over that. And it's looking pretty, pretty shiny as well. Do 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 Oh sorry. So that's the top. Done. Clean. Okay, let's move on to the guitar honey. I've zoomed you in a little bit onto the fretboard. You can see from around the 15th back to the 5th. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole lot, starting at the 22nd, moving up. And then you'll be able to see, hopefully, what difference it's made. I used to use a toothbrush and work it in either side of the frets, like chop it up into here and then into here. But even that I don't like doing anymore just because I think it's just forcing stuff underneath the frets. And if you're, if you're careful enough and you use the, the tip of your finger wrapped in the cloth, you can get right up against the edge of the fret. The other thing I don't do, ever, is spray directly onto a fingerboard. I don't like a lot of product being around my frets. To me it just means there's a possibility that it's going to get under the frets and loosen the glue. I know people say they, it won't happen. Or our product doesn't do this, our product doesn't harm anything. Who cares? Why take the risk in the first place? Now what I would do is just spray three or four pumps onto the cloth, turn it over my finger and now really quickly work my way up probably ten frets and then buff it off. Okay, so I've done 10 frets there, it's already brought a lot of dirt off. Now I will go over, buff it. I probably have to do this two or three times before I feel like I've removed the rubbish. I don't know how well you can see that, but it has brought off some dirt there. So I'll quickly run over that area again, using the side of my finger to get up into the frets, because there is still a thin layer on there, it's starting to dry. Just work my way up before it dries completely. I'm butting my finger up into the frets at the moment using the tip of my nail just to force the cloth up against the fret so that I'm getting right into the edges. Now if when I'm doing this, if there's still um, grimy marks coming off on my cloth I will go over it again with a fresh part of the cloth with some more uh, product on it. So I'll find a clean area now I'll just literally rub over if it comes back dirty I'll do it again. Like I was explaining you need to get your, your finger pushed up into the fret I don't think you can see it that well but yeah basically uh, where are we? It's say on the 15th so you've got the middle, the middle always comes up slightly shinier than the edge and it, le it leaves like a slightly cloudy mark either side on a rosewood board. I think that's where it's really easy to clean the middle but it's harder to get up into the edges. So obviously every time you wipe it the middle is getting done um, but not the edge. There, It's the case ever so slightly here although it's better than, I've, than I'm used to. So I'm happy with that to be honest. Here you can see, you see it just looks a little bit tatty compared to here it looks absolutely 
100% like just natural clean wood and up here again it looks a little bit grubby a little bit dirty just going with the grain of the wood now but once you start getting into the wider frets it is worth just massaging the board lengthways <laughs> it's going to be a new saying of mine what have you been up to today Gary? Oh, I'm mass massaging the board lengthways where are we? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Maybe I'm really bad at fingerboard maintenance, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Who cares? Because it fucking works. So I don't know if you'll be able to remember what it was like before. There we go, there's a nut. Alright, now the other thing that comes with it, of course, is the wax. So let's head for the body again. Lightly dampen the supplied applicator and squeeze until nearly dry. Apply a thin, even coat with a circular overlapping motion. Allow the wax to dry to a haze, then buff off the residue with a soft, clean towel or polish cloth, turning the cloth frequently. Oh, I forgot to press record. Well, I've basically just waxed the <laughs> uh, top with the Carnuba wax. Basically, you dampen the sponge, um, and I'll show you again. Rather than just putting the sponge in and scooping out wax, which is what a lot of people do, is you literally put your fingers on top of the sponge and rotate it. By doing that, it just starts to melt the top of the wax, so that when you pull out the sponge, it's got a light layer of liquid on it. That's the best way of doing it because it helps you apply a more thin, even coat. That has dried to a haze, so let's get polishing. What wax basically does um, is it kind of adheres to the to any surface, so it'll actually leave a thin layer. Really, really thin layer. I wouldn't even want to be. Able, I wouldn't even want to quantify it as a thickness. It's just such a light coating. But once it's on there and dried and buffed, it's it's kind of there to stay. It's really hard to get off. Okay, I think I'm happy that that's all buffed out. The light's a little bit nicer now, um, and I'm really, really impressed with this stuff. I mean, this guitar has honestly since I've had it, which was from new, never been as shiny as this. Ooh, reflections. You can see the tarnish there on the corner of that pickup. Hey Jimmy, how you doing dude? Again the reflections, it's like a mirror. Since I've had it, it was always in in that bit that dips in. It always had like a cloudy area, and I could never get it off with the Dunlop. And it's now absolutely mirror-like, the same as the rest of it. So yeah, the girl at stuff appears to have worked. Fingerboard. You see there's that clouding on either side of the middle that I was talking about. You see how it's shiny in the middle? And it gets a little bit more matte at the edges. Something I think I've or I found to be unavoidable. Let's get a thumbs up from me.